Hi, boys and girls. Uh, it's story time again. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good summer vacation. Tonight we're going to read a story by Eric Carle, and it's called The Very Quiet Cricket. Um, you may have listened to one of his other books before called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, so this is by the same author, um, only it's about a cricket. So let's go ahead and get started and learn about the very quiet cricket. Let's figure out what's going on here. Okay, so here we go. The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle. There's a little note at the very beginning before the story starts that says there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, uh, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. Okay. So here we go again. It's by Eric Carl, and it's called The Very Quiet Cricket. All righty. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. I wonder why he can't make a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, uh, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, 
So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. A moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Hmm, he didn't try and answer that time. I wonder why. As the Luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time... I wonder what happens. He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. And that is the end of the story. Hmm. And there's the back cover. There's another beautiful picture on the back cover. So this was The Very Quiet Cricket, written and illustrated by Eric Carle. I wonder why the little cricket was able to chirp when he saw another cricket. Think about that. I wonder why. All right. Thanks for listening tonight. And um, I will see you again next week with another story. Good night and God bless.